Yes, sir. It's your boy B. Hayes We're back with another one, guys. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. Before we do so, watch out for the spam, the WhatsApp, all that good stuff in the comments down below, guys. So this week has been a turbulent week, guys. It's been a lot of back and forth, a lot of red. You know, the market's still indecisive about whether it want to go and close the gap field. Same as with Bitcoin. Or does it want to run up and and shake a few people up, get a few more loans in there before actually coming back down, closing that gap, and then we off to the sunset. We off into a bullish market. Basically, that's what I'm saying in a nutshell, guys. What you got to prepare for and look forward to happening as of now is basically we have all the good news, the good catalyst, the economy coming back together. We have things lining up perfectly for us to go into this bullish market with the market already being theoretically oversold. And that doesn't mean it's oversold to the point to where it can't extend the sell off because that's exactly what is in store far as ta standpoint if we take a look at bitcoin bitcoin broke below eighteen thousand two hundred months ago and i gave you the guys the indication all the way from 50 60 k that it'll come down to 20k once it came to 20k and you say oh the price split in half it's time to go back up i said no now prepare for another drop i didn't want to just say oh bitcoin sitting at fifty six thousand, it's coming all the way down to ten thousand it'll take a lot for you to even fathom that so i kind of stair played it let it come down to 20k from 20K, you waiting on the next prediction. No, it ain't going up yet. It's about to crash some more. Once it break 18200 it's coming straight down to around $10,000, $9,000 per Bitcoin. But in the mix of all of this happening, you're going to see Bitcoin spike up $5,000. you are going to see it spike up $10,000. you are going to see it spike up probably $15,000 before coming down and closing that gap field. And the same thing that's happening with Bitcoin is going to the same thing that happened with the market. You're going to see the market shoot up 10 15%. You're going to see it shoot up 20%. And then right back down before the end, it's going to close that gap field, come down another 15% scaring the hell out of masses and then shooting up and skyrocketing like a bat out of hell where we see 30 40 percent single days with these large cap companies that on average regular daily daily volume is only seeing one to two to three percent and we want to see these stocks go up 20 30 percent in a single day guys so the only thing you have to do is prepare and you know hold off until you can get there and don't lose all your money getting in and out and selling for a loss and all that good stuff you gotta learn how to be patient you gotta learn how to uh you know be more meticulous and not try to be all over the place and investing in this and investing in that you know taking your time but anyways let's go ahead and take a further look at what's going on as we also know with twitter or whatnot elon musk is putting on more responsibility for his staff he laid off over half the staff and now the workers that are left just like i was predicting before it even happened they got to take on more responsibility and more work and i'm pretty sure their pay is going to increase but they won't be getting paid double like they should get paid because it's going to defeat the purpose of even laying off half the staff when you could have just continued paying them if you're going to pay the other half the same thing you know, just make them work harder. I'd rather have them more people and less work on the on the people, and uh, evenly, uh, you know, distribute the money rather than having half the staff and pay them more money. And when you got more people, you know, complaining, tired, not working efficiently because of tiredness. But anyways, as we know, guys, the Dow did jump to 150 points on Friday as investors shake off higher rate fears. The blue chip stock index jumped 162 points, a half a percent. S&P 500 climbed 0.2 percent, while the Nasdaq Composite wavered over the flat line. So let's go ahead and take a further look, guys, at AMC and GME. As we know, guys, we have uh, commentators, analysts uh, speaking on AMC uh, this morning over on the news and just uh sharing my opinion on what they were stating i like how they were saying that you know out of all the mean stocks out of bed bath and beyond game stop you know you you name it you call it everyone that came about and spike or went up 120 percent a lot of those uh stocks at uh, securities were short-lived meaning you know the community ran over to it for a hot second for a day or two maybe even a week and then it disappeared advantage out of everything, out of all the mean stock plays, who still has a community behind it? Who still has that thrill? Who still have a great, you know, I ain't gonna say a great leader, but a leader with uh, a leader with, you know, a sense of humor. 
meaning basically Adam uh, Aaron. I'm not, you know, like I say, he definitely should be trying to come up with some type of system or plan to give back to retail investors the best way he could possibly can. Some type of uh, little lottery for retail investors with his own personal money. Now, hey, man, I'm giving retail investors a chance to win $50,000, maybe two or three of them or something. You get what I'm saying? And people really like, that'd be cool. That'd be dope. Being for the fact that they're taken care of, they have a billion plus dollars that's holding them afloat now they superior against their competitors and can make them basically form a monopoly if they're compared if their competitors can't hold up through this madness and they continue to lose 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 out on uh you know their cash flow continue to thin out and they have to sell off some of their properties and amc acquire them is going to form a monopoly for amc so it's like you know retail investors should definitely be you know, have something given or looked out for them in some type of way for saving a major company like that. But anyways, to say it all in a nutshell, basically, you know, AMC is superior over a lot, all the mean stocks. Basically, G GME is the OG, don't get me wrong, but as far as community-based driven and, you know, people coming together, staying, you know, still here at the years and whatnot, like AMC is really, you know, that one. But that doesn't mean, you know, go out there, throw all your eggs in one basket, guys. Never do that. Never, never, never do that. Always be, you know, meticulous and always know where the outcome can be. And like I always say, never pour, you know, too much into anything, whether it's a stock, a crypto, a relationship. Only thing you could give your all to is, you know, whoever you believe in, like God, whoever you believe in, as far as in the spiritual realm. But as far as just regular day, every day, you know, don't pour your all into no one person or to one or to too much into one thing because it can come back and bite you in the end of the day or hurt you if it don't go how you plan for it to go. So you already know, guys, add your boy on Instagram at the Behave Show. I love y'all. Get a VIP. Watch out for the spam and WhatsApp, all that good stuff in the comments down below.